with four reds left, three of which are on the side cushion. So he's a heavy favourite there. Similar type of shot. John, John coming around. He's got a similar type of shot here on this red that he made 80 from in the second frame, or the third frame, sorry. Actually, might not have the angle to play that same shot. It looks like he's stunning this around. Yep, didn't have that angle. And now he's missed it. First chance for Neil Robertson. Well, he was very focused and impressive, wasn't he? The way he made that, that 87 clearance in that last frame. Yeah, he made it look very easy. What? Yep, nice shot from Neil. Perfect on the black. He made 122 in frame one, the 87 in frame four, in between Higgins 65 and 80. So there's been some heavy hitting. Thanks in this match, which is what you expect with these two. Nine. Yeah, it's been a very high standard. Quickly it can change. 17. And Neil missed from that snooker. And left John the red. It looked like that was probably going to be the end of the frame in the match. 27 in front. Good few open reds. Only made six from it. Play that. That's an excellent shot again from Neil. 24. Definitely got one red to the left middle. And he's looking at an alternative to get back onto the black. Can't get back onto the black from the red into the left middle. Certainly not really good on the black from the left, the the red into the left middle. So he decided yellow to take it in to the green pocket. Sorry, the yellow pocket. And it hasn't gone in. So a slight repeat, reprieve there for John. He'd have feared the worst when he seen that split. Be very happy to only be 24 points behind.
he's looking to take in this red on. Great shot. Brilliant shot from John Higgins. Yeah, and that completely turns the tide, doesn't it? Because now they're all there for him. That's a wonderful red. I think the way, the way he was kind of pointing his cue, I think he was looking to maybe play it as a kind of shot to nothing and the white having the having the pink into the same pocket as the, the red is on. But he's potted it. He's kissed the green oh. and it's gone the other side. So he would have... He had got close to the red. Sorry, got close to the red. He would have left the other red. So, great pot, and now a good chance. Five. Yes, and obviously this wouldn't change anything that happened in those finals last season. But he would love to beat Neil Robertson. Of course he would. It's a morale booster, and of course it helps him. In the group. Meantime, Zhao Gudong has finally seen off Nopin Senkarm next door 3 2. So that's a good day's work for Zhao. He's played 4 1 3. And the one he lost, he won two frames in. So all in all, looking good. Senkarm, though, played 3, lost 3. So things not looking good for him. In fact, they're looking very bad. Yeah, just uh, mindful of that red just under his body. All that weight he lost doing the spinning classes will help here. Twelve. Half the battle at the Championship League is to stay away from all the, the lovely snacks that the morning side provide upstairs in that players room. And we don't all succeed in that. Not looking at you, Lee, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder why he was looking at me then, Dave. Food here is really nice. Green has wriggled in. So he got a red, at least one red to the middle pocket. Yeah, nothing else goes there, so... Red to the centre. Down for green or brown. Definitely one red that pots. Just needs to get on this. Want to get on it with an angle to get on the black. He's on, I think he's still on the red, but he can't get on the black. 20. It'll be back down for green or brown. Twenty. Don't think anything pots. So he needs an angle now on the green. Play into these reds and pink.
got them. But he's just glanced off them. I think he's still got Don't a red that he can go for. But no guarantee of position. Looking at where the white will go if he takes this red on. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Well, such a critical stage. 2-2, two, two, 24 points each. Could not be tighter. Didn't like it, but he's taking it on. Yeah. Great shot. Didn't know where the cue ball was going to go. Has been a little bit unlucky there, I have to say. Very good red. Could have cannoned the yellow, could have cannoned the blue. Where he's finished there, I think he's only got a safety shot. I think if the red hadn't been ham hampering his queue, he'd have probably taken the green, but uh, the way he's uh, going for these shots, but there won't be any of that now because he won't be taking that on bridging over the red. Twenty five. Very clever shot there from John. Playing off the blue. I think he's covered all the reds on the right hand side of the table. The only one red that Neil can hit is this red on the cushion. to see I'm gonna play thin off this red try to swing the right around in behind the blue Maybe a shot to nothing here. Third red up from the black. He's caught that way too thick. He's not left anything easy. Could have left a, a red, easy red on there. Tense end to the first day of Group 5 of the Championship League. Deciding framed one point in it between two greats of the sport. Neil Robertson and John Higgins fighting for every point here.
Yeah, John got away with one there. Oh, he needs this to run. Wow. Again, he could have left Robertson the red. Yeah, two cushions here. Drop on the two reds by the black. Just cut the black. Well, yeah, just cut the black. Go back. Yeah. Rob Spencer, the referee, will have to put these back. Thanks, now. Robertson is sort of pointing at where the cue ball was. Yeah, yeah. you could hit that knuckle, basically. That's what I want to. I think Neil will get this right this time. I don't think he lit the black again. Got a guide now from the first effort. There you go. Touch him off. John didn't want to play into bulk there. Just in case he left this red on the left hand side, he knows what a great long potter Neil Robertson is. Neil's now going to play safe off that red. going to get the next chance to win this match. Foul. Neil Robertson four. Yeah, and that's got a little bit too thick again from John. Didn't get the wobble in the jaws this time. And he's actually been rather fortunate he didn't. He's gone the white's gone in. The white had wobbled in the jaws again, could have well left Neil Robertson an easy chance. As it is, he's not left the pot on. Well, not an easy pot anyway. Well, you'd think this was one of the finals they played last year rather than the last uh, group match of the day here. It just shows what great competitors these two are. Not wanting to give an inch to their opponents. Much 
better safety shot this time from John. Got to be careful here, Neil. Caught it a bit thick. He's left John a red, or choice of reds. Neither easy. The only problem about playing the one closest to the middle pocket is if he plays the screw back. Not many colours on. He was on the cushion. He's got to get it, and his green is on the spot, but everything else is a little bit awkward. The one he's chosen to play, though. It's a big shot, this, for the Aussie. Oh, nicely done. What? Out of John Higgins's hands for now. But there's still pressure on these, not least this first black. Another good pot. Yeah, now an excellent chance for Neil. Eight. Four points in front. If he can take no. four reds, four blacks, I'll put him 36 in front with just 35 on the table. And with that last red by the green, he will certainly be trying to do exactly that. Yeah, and secure his third point of the day with two matches to play tomorrow, so very much in the shake-up uh, for place in the playoffs, not least because his last two matches actually late in the day, so he'll know by that point how the land lies. Well, a little bit surprised. He's not, he's not thought of that. by pot in the blue and that does make the red definitely available the last red by the green 20. which he's now going to need that's definitely available now into the yellow pocket Six in front. So red, colour red. We'll see Neil Robertson home in this match. Yeah, and it would be a very hard earned victory to say the least. It's been high quality between these two all night. Yeah, and he's played that very nicely. Nice angle on the blue. Screw in behind this red. Struck that very nicely. Yeah, this red then effectively match ball and it would be Neil Robertson's third win out of four today. All he's not lost for John Higgins, but he's gonna have to Gets something out of his matches tomorrow. He's got three to play. But he goes into them on just one point. We expected 
high quality. That's what we got. It's another narrow win for Neil Robertson over John Higgins. 40. First meeting since he came from 9-4 down to win their Tour Championship final, 10-9. Three snookers needed here. Higgins may play on. In fact, he's not. He's conceded.